This is probably by far the best way to rotoscope if you don't have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. I'm gonna leave a link to it, the original video in the description. And shout out to this creator. I didn't even think about this. It's a good way to get a good quality rotoscope at 1080p without having to pay for the runway ML subscription. So to get started, I'm actually gonna take this clip here. I'm going to a file, go to quick export. I'm gonna quick export at H.264. I'm gonna find a place to place it. I'm just gonna place it on my desktop for now. I've done a video about runway ML before. And I mentioned how with a free account, you can export in 720p, which is semi-decent, but of course you want at least 1080p or higher. I'll leave a link for Runway ML in the description. We're gonna go over here and hit Create New Project. I'm gonna click Green Screen. And I'm gonna click Upload and find my clip. And my clip is imported, I'm gonna double click. Actually, I'm gonna click and drag down here to the bottom. Give it a second to process, then I'm gonna click on her head and body and leg. I have to click on the socks right here too. Go over here to the exclude, click on it, and then I'm gonna exclude these little bed sheets here. Then I get my point selected, I'm gonna hit preview. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna exclude all this and clean it up. I'm gonna go back and view my selection. Looks good. I'm go over here to export. Of course, like I said, it's only in 720p and an MP4. I'm gonna hit export mask. Then we'll go here to go to export. I'm here and let it load, and then you'll be able to download it. Now that it's done, go over here to right click and just simply download. Now I'm back in DaVinci. I got my green screen clip and my original clip. I'm gonna take the original clip, move it up one, and I'm gonna slide the green screen under it. I'm gonna highlight both, right click, turn into new fusion clip. Then I'm gonna enter into Fusion. You only see one clip there, so I'm gonna highlight Media 1 and hit 1 on my keyboard. Now I know that's my, my mask layer, or the layer I'm gonna use as a mask. I'm gonna hit F2 and hit, then I'm gonna type in Mask. Click OK. Then I'm gonna go to my Media 2, hit 1 on the keyboard, and I see that's my background. I'm gonna hit F2, just type in BG for background. Now, even though this is my background, it's actually in the foreground. If you highlight the green node here, or the green input rather, you see it's called foreground. I'm gonna move this over here in the background. And my mask clip is the background. You highlight the yellow, you see it's the background. I'm gonna go back to my mask and I'm gonna hit one on the keyboard so I can see it. And then I'm gonna click control and space. I'm gonna bring in a delta key here, select my delta key and hit one on the keyboard so it'll be in my viewer. I'm going to inspect the tab, grab the link ink dropper, select the green, that keys at the background. You see here, she actually got, if you hold control and zoom in, she got like a little halo around the side. I'm gonna go back into my inspector tab, click the drop down, and go with the status. And you can see there, it's all dirty, just disgusting. So I'm going to matte, and I'm gonna actually turn up the low threshold. That's gonna clean up the blacks. And then I'm gonna turn down the high, and that's gonna clean up the white. And then I'm gonna go hit the drop down again for the final results. Still got to build a halo there. Then we're going to go down here to the road. Just kind of crank it down and basically soften the mask. You can actually kind of blur a little bit too to kind of blur it out. Now from there, here comes the complicated part. Make sure you pay close attention. You're going to take the output of the Delta key, connect it to the mask input of the merge node. It's going to automatically cut out your subject. Now if you compare the two side by side, this is 720p, this is 1080p. You don't see much of a difference, especially probably through the through YouTube, but you can tell here her tattoos are a lot more blurry. Where you still, you can retain at least a little bit more detail here. Now this process is a bit of a workaround, but it's a hell of a lot quicker than rotoscoping by hand. All right, and I got some, I got some little random footage and put in the background. You just put it underneath it. And you can see this rotoscoped out. Once again, giving credit where credit is due to Fart Doctor. Okay. Anyway, the link to this original video will be in the description. It's actually four tips. This one here was the most interesting to me. So check it out. Hit the like button if you liked today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you next time.